talking about renting a house out, there's a few simple steps. So you can check out some of my other videos and talk a lot more about um, renting houses out. Talk about that a lot on this channel, actually. So on this channel, we like to talk about renting houses out. And so I wanted to make a super simple step-by-step -step video on what you need to do to get top dollar for your rental house. Check it out. The absolute first thing you need to do is make sure your house is attractive to the right tenants. So we're gonna look at my normal rental property, and we got lease to owns, we got owner financing, got a bunch of other stuff. When you talk about the just conventional rental property, what I screen for is a 600 credit score, an income three times the rent, and a three year work history. So what does that mean? 600 credit score, that's gonna be somebody that's got um, no defaults in their recent past, not overdue, not late on any of their bills, have a decent credit profile. This is the person I wanna to rent to. So I need to look at my house, step number one. Step number one, this house comes up for rent or is coming up for rent soon, I need to think, is this in the condition that a 600 credit score who makes three times the rent would be attracted to this house? Not just would they rent it, but are they attracted to this house? So step number one is find anything that would repulse your target renter and get rid of that or fix it immediately. Also, look at what your target renter is looking at in the town where you're renting houses and make sure that yours stands out. The easiest way to do this, get professional pictures. Don't take cell phone pictures of your rental property. That is so dumb, it's stupid. Do not, don't do that. Pay the money, have a good photographer go out, and take decent pictures that represents your property well. If your property's got grainy cell phone, not, you know, lighting's just a little bit off, it's not jumping out. You're not getting people even interested in the first place. So you've got to remove that barrier. So great photos, absolute must. Easiest investment that you can make. So get those great photos out. That's going to attract lots of people to your listing because that, that's the number one thing we got to do. We got to attract people to the listing. So your first step, how do I get as many of my target market interested in my listing? Great photos is one way. Another way is the, the curb appeal. So when, when those great tenants drive by, do they say, mm, no, not really what I'm looking for, or do they say, man, I gotta get in that house. So curb, curb appeal, absolutely essential. You know, basic stuff. Just go out there with an the edger, make sure everything's edged, make sure the grass is trimmed up, make sure the bushes you know, are trimmed back. If you can do a little bit of landscaping, I mean, $50 worth of mulch can go a long way. It's just, you know, spruce up that curb appeal. So first of all, you've got great pictures. Your target market is super interested. They see the pictures, you're like, man, I gotta get that house. Let's drive by it, see if it's really as good as it looks. They drive by, they say, yep, that's a beautiful house. And now you've got people interested and fighting over your property. So that's step number one. Make sure that your property stands out to your target market. You don't wanna spend a ton of money on this. I'm not saying remodel your house. I'm not saying go out and like repaint everything and make everything, you know, like totally new. I'm just saying that a couple days worth of work, a couple hundred bucks expense, so that thing stands out to your target market and they're excited about it. Not will they rent it, but now they're excited about it. That's step number one. So you get your pictures and your curb appeal right so everybody's excited about your listing. Next thing. People think, man, I gotta rent my house. No, you're not to renting your house yet. You got people excited about it. Now, the next thing is making sure that it's advertised well so you get it out to as many people as possible, right? So if we're gonna rent it to one person, we wanna get it out to thousands of people. If thousands of people don't see this, then it's, it's no use, right? So uh, for me, I've got a mailing list. I've got a Facebook with over 10,000 followers. Um, I'm gonna make sure to get it in Zillow. So I've got it on my Facebook, I get it out on my mailing list, I get it on my website. I'm gonna put it on Zillow, uh, where we get a lot of ads. That's what those people that are actively looking on Zillow. And then I'm gonna push people to that Zillow listing with Craigslist, maybe even newspaper print ads. If I got a bunch of houses coming up for rent, I'll go ahead and run some newspaper ads to make sure that I'm funneling as much traffic 
to my website and my Facebook as possible to uh, get as many eyeballs on those properties as absolutely possible. So we gotta get eyeballs, get as many eyeballs as possible. Notice that none of that stuff really costs any money. Having a Facebook page uh, doesn't cost money. Putting stuff on Craigslist doesn't cost money. Zillow costs like $10 a week now, so hardly any money. Uh, newspaper is going to cost you a little bit of money. So, but all the getting that news out, making sure people are talking about it, responding to people on Facebook, responding to people on Zillow. I want to get that that house in front of as many eyeballs as possible. So step one, we got the house so people are excited about it. Step two, we get it in front of as many eyeballs as possible. So now we've got it in front of as many eyeballs as possible. We want to get applications. Can't get it rented if we don't have applications. And if we don't have lots of applications from good tenants, we don't get to pick who we want in the house. So getting applications, that's the next thing. I want to close people on applications. People are like, when can I see the house? People say, hey, uh, you know, what's the rent? No, the first thing, we need to get applications. We're not even going to worry about the house until we got applications. So now as people are inquiring on Facebook, they're inquiring on Zillow, we're going to push them to our application platform. This is step three. We want to get as many qualified applications as quick as possible. And if we did steps one and two right, this shouldn't be a problem. Step one, we got that house uh, so people are excited about it. Two, we got a bunch of people see the house. So now everybody wants the house and tons of people are seeing the house. So people are competing for this house. We're not trying to rent this house out at this point. At this point, we got lots of eyeballs, lots of people want it. So now we just got to process the applications to screen out the people that are going to be difficult and pick the people that are going to be the people we want to work with over the next year, two years, three years, five years. So we got to pick these people out. So we got to get applications. So everyone that contacts us, hey, what do you like about the house? Oh, okay. Well, a hundred other people like that about the house. So now we'd love to, you know, we definitely want to move this conversation forward. We're glad that you like the big yard. We're glad that you like the proximity to the grocery stores. We're glad you like the proximity to downtown. And we're glad you like the low utilities. Nobody ever checks utilities. They should, but they don't. Um, but if they check the 12 month utilities, they'd like our low utilities too. But hey, I'm glad that you like this, this, and the other. We have a ton of people that are interested in this house. Please fill out an application and point them to your application portal. So recently we've been using applications on Zillow. So right there on the Facebook message, hey, please fill out an application at, send them the Zillow link there on Facebook. So they go straight to the Zillow link. Same thing on Zillow. People uh, put in the, uh, their interest. Great, glad you love the house. You know, we've got a ton of interest. Please fill out an application so we can move forward with you. And then invite them to, to apply. There's a little invite to apply there on Zillow. Um, in the past, we haven't used the Zillow portal. We've used another one called Tenant Verification Services, but the same thing. Hey, where would you like your application email sent? Let's give us the email and uh, put it into the Tenant Verification Services and it spits them out an email. They can complete their application there. Whatever application portal you're using, that's step three. Collect as many applications as quickly as possible. Now, um, there's some laws on, on how you show your home, so make sure you consult a lawyer, I'm not a lawyer. This isn't legal advice, I'm not a financial professional. This isn't financial advice. I am sitting here talking to you, drinking beer on a Monday, so I think I do know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Uh, but I can't give you professional advice, I can't practice law. So talk to a lawyer. But um, there's some restrictions on, on how you accept your applicants, uh, especially you know, once you're uh, considered a commercial investor. So make sure you follow those guidelines. But the point being, we've collected a ton of applications. And so now we can process those applications and give qualified people opportunities to lease the home. Now our homes go quickly, so your opportunity isn't gonna last very long, but we're gonna go down the uh, qualified applicants and we're gonna get those qualified applicants opportunities to lease the home. If you've done steps one, two, and three correctly, people are excited about the house, tons of people saw the house, tons of people applied to the house, you're now only a couple days into this process, um, the house probably isn't even vacant yet, and you've got tons of applications, and now you've got people fighting to give you a deposit uh, on the house and pay their first month's rent so they can go ahead and get in the house. So now we've got 
uh, our qualified applicants. We're giving them some period of time to, uh, to capitalize on their opportunity to lease the house, and then we're moving on to the next qualified applicant. And then we're going to uh, get that qualified applicant in the home. Many times they'll go ahead and pay their deposit um, over the phone. I can collect digitally. Um, and they'll go ahead and lease the house without even uh, having seen it, just by seeing the pictures. Because if you had good pictures, you were able to show them the house, they were able to drive by, they see it's exactly where they want to live. Um, they realize um, that it is competitive, and they may uh, go ahead, many times, they'll just go ahead and get you that deposit uh, ahead of time. And then we can finish up the leasing process, uh, you know, a day or two later. But if you aren't that fortunate and people want to see the home, maybe you know you as a landlord don't have a reputation yet um, in the town or municipality where you're located. So if you don't have a reputation, maybe people don't uh, trust you yet to go ahead and put those deposits down once you've been there a while. And like in my case, uh, people trust me a little bit more. And so they're willing to go ahead and put those deposits down, get those houses locked up. But if you don't have that benefit, you still want to get those houses locked up as quickly as possible. So you did steps one, two, and three. Now your last one is getting that thing leased out. So you want to make sure that you have a solid lease. I've got some other videos that you can link to to see how to do those leases. And um, go ahead and get them signed, get your deposit, get your first month's rent, and be ready to conduct key turnover when people move in. So I wanted to break down that leasing process super simple. I hope that's helpful. But um, that takes it down to four easy to follow steps. One, make sure people are excited about your lease. Make sure, make sure people are excited about your property because you got great pictures, you got great curb appeal. Don't spend a bunch of money on it, but put in some work so it busts out from the competition. Two, make sure that you have as many eyeballs as possible on your listing. Build that Facebook profile. Make sure you push out on Craigslist, Zillow, um, any kind of local buy, sell, and trade, you know, Facebook groups, Facebook marketplace. Push it out to as many eyeballs as possible so you get as many eyeballs on your listing as possible, as early as possible. So that way three, as soon as your listing's available or you're ready to start leasing it, you can collect as many applications as possible. So crush those applications, get them in. So four, you can get that thing leased with as little turnover time as possible. We wanna have all of our properties leased within 48 hours of vacancy. We've done a tremendous job of that over the last two years. We've hit that benchmark, I believe every single time that we've had a vacancy over the last two years. So follow those four steps and you're in for a very successful landlording career. Check us out at www.facebook.com forward slash do common properties. See it in the link above or below. Follow us on Facebook. Also, um, feel free to check out some of my more, some other of my videos. I talk about each and every one of these steps um, on other videos that are available on this channel. So there's a real estate playlist that this will be a part of. Check that playlist out. I guarantee it's probably worth your time to watch through that playlist, especially if you're interested in real estate investing. And then lastly, if you're new to real estate and you wanna check it out, please, please check out my Four Pillars of Real Estate Investing course. It's only $25, I'll put a link to it down below, but so many times people ask me, Dookie, what should I invest in? Or Dookie, how do I get started making money in real estate? And it always starts with your goal. Like, what's your goal? Like, making money, there, there's, there's so many different goals in real estate. So check that out. There's four main goals. You'll talk through each one of those. And if anyone ever asks me that question, the first thing I do is I point them to that course. 25 bucks, and you're able to sort out why it is that you want to get started in real estate, what you're trying to get, and what risks you're willing to take to get there. And once you've um, checked that course out, uh, feel free to hit me up. I'd be more than happy to continue the discussion one-on-one, -on -one. Um, but, but, but check that out first because without that, we can't really have a fruitful discussion.